All right, today we're gonna work on my bandsaw over here. So we got some saw blades came in. So we're gonna work on that a little bit. Let's see, I'm gonna do this stupid tripod in my way. You gotta put the tripod in the way enough that it's in your way, but not enough that you can't work. Okay, there we go. Now, someone asked me what I did to my face. Dog bite. Don't get too close to a dog that's trying to eat you. So, there you go, you've been updated. All right, so this is the blade I bought. It's a three inch wide blade instead of a little narrow one that came off. So this has bad tire up inside of it. <clears throat> so this is the one that was on it. This is the one I was gonna put on it, but it's, it's at least one inch too long, but it's three inches longer it's supposed to be. So you can't tighten it. So on a band, so these are called the tires and the, the blade sits up on top of these things. And if you look right here, you can see a big groove in there. And what happened was the tire was up in here, the blade jammed up into this, jammed it, and it just kept turning and it just ate it all up and did a number to it. So now when you're using the bandsaw, this one here comes off, it won't stay on. So hopefully the three quarter inch wide one will stay, get on there tire enough that it'll stay put. And I gotta adjust all of the stuff in here to make it work. There's a bunch of adjustments under here and up here. So it controls how deep the blade is and how much clearance is on the blade. So this one adjusts your clearance. And the other one adjusts the, the how far it sits in and out. So and the bearings are not the best. Probably original to the machine, which is definitely old. I know Dad was using it back in the 60s when he opened the shop, so I don't know if he bought it new or used, but it's old. find out. All right, where's my blade at? Okay, I think this was 99 inches or something like that. That's what I went for. So these are triple wrapped. So there's a trick to get these undone without hurting yourself. Call be careful. That's why they got the protective sleeving on there to keep them eating you. When that comes off, it starts cutting on you. Okay, we are armed. Armed and dangerous. Now for the fun part. Get it into the machine. And it does not want to go into the machine. going to be the fun part. It was tricky getting it in last time. I forget how I did it. But it doesn't want to go in all these. The big problem is it won't fit through here. The gap's that wide. The blade's that wide. That's the problem. Okay, so let's pull it back out of here. First thing we do is lower this down. 
That makes it a little bit easier. Oh, that is hard on your thumbs. See, put pressure on it like that. Oh, there's some more on my thumb. Eventually, you'll start bleeding. You keep doing that. Okay, now this needs to go up. Here. Uh, what are we hitting on next? Hitting everything that's what we're hitting. On. Oh, that is sharp in there. It's not permanently bending anything. Definitely a tight squeeze. Working it way in there. Okay. Make sure everything's in there where it belongs. Easier said than done. Where's my release button on the camera? So, I had to twist it pretty hard right through here to get it to go into there. Got it in there. Doesn't look like there's any permanent in there. The other side of this one, too. So, we want to have a little bit of clearance on that. We got a little bit. This one here's got a lot more clearance down there, so probably can take some of that out, maybe. It's all the way up inside of here flush. We're not hitting on anything coming down the back side. And that's all in there where it belongs. And we shove it up all the way against these wheels back here, the bearings. That's your backstop. And then you go over here and tighten it up. So this lifts the whole wheel up as you do this. Looks like it quit moving. All right. Blades about the right tension. Okay, usually like to flip it on a quickie to see what happens. Where's the switch? I missed them. There it is, right here. Nice safety switch right down here. See, that works great. Maybe this is supposed to be plugged in. <coughs> safety cord there. Make sure you got the ground on it. There you go. Okay. Ooh, it tracked way in there. Ooh, it's, it's going off the back side for some reason. That one's flush. Tracking off the back side of this one for some reason, I don't know why. Hmm. So that means this here needs to be pulled in, I'm guessing, a little bit. So that was these adjustments over here. Okay, let's go ahead and loosen this up a little bit. I don't know what's going on here. It doesn't seem to be making any difference. No, it's going down. Okay, so. Get 
Okay, this moves the guide. There, that moves the whole wheel over. Okay, okay lock that down. A little tension on that again. It looks like this one here. It's not on the wheel either. <clears throat> Appears to be way off. Okay, this one we did this one here. Yep. Kick it over till it touches. Right there. Fine tuning adjustments. See what happens. Still a little bit off the wheel in the back, but a lot better than it was. It's way off on the back side, and over here it is on the wheel on this side. I think the wheel's like this. It's kind of weird. And this one is almost flush on that side. And it's in a little ways on this side. <clears throat> so I'm thinking we can move it over a little bit further. Flush on the back side on that one, and we're flush on the back side of this one, if not slightly out. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just a very just on the outside, just a little bit on this side. This side here now is flush, so I'm guessing the wheel's doing a little dancing in here. So these things are definitely very old and hard. That rubber is not it's like plastic; it's not soft anymore. Okay, so. I'm not sure how much tension we're supposed to, or clearance we're supposed to have in these blades, but you want enough to the stage put, I guess. Get up in here, I can see. Oh, that's definitely got a lot of clearance. I'm thinking that's more than it needs. So I think I'll put me a 15 thou feeler gauge in there. 10 to 15 thou, probably close. So the feeler gauge and an hour wrench probably. The only instructions I saw were these things over here. These have nothing to do with the bandsaw. That's the sonar piston manufacturing. <laughs> that was the only instruction I got. Doesn't tell me much. 
and then you got this instruction. And you got whatever these up here mean. So I guess there's different speeds available. I don't know which speed that is at. There's a motor down in here, so I'm assuming there's another probably right here. There we go. Yeah, it looks a lot modern as hell in here. Oh yeah, I got belt clearances. I don't see no Zerk fittings anywhere. Yeah. Zerk fittings, what would those be for? Yeah, I'll get the old brown motor on it. You know those are old. Everything's old around here. Boise Crane. I don't think they make them anymore. No plastic. Even these are... No, these are plastic. That's the I think these are phenolic material. Not exactly plastic. Could be Bakelite. Bakelite's old style plastic. <laughs> In case you didn't know. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put a 10 to 15 gap in there. So that means 15, right? Or 12 at least. 12. I like 12. 12 is a good number. That enough gap clearance? Okay, so if we put that inside the wheel. Okay, we do not have 12 in that one, so. Feels like 10. Uh, not quite 10 either. It's trying to go in there though. We'll use 10. It's probably like 9 or 8 on a tight spot. Okay, where is our adjuster under here? Okay, tap that clear, should be enough. We're golden. Guides are in the wrong spot too. Look how far those are. Geez, those things are way off center. How do you adjust those? That's this piece here. There it goes. There we go. Okay.
play with the adjustment screws here. You want that to be over the damn thing where it belongs. Yeah. So you want to be on the blade, but not where the teeth are. So it looks like about a good spot to me right there. Okay, we lock it down right here. Get all these little adjustments. Okay, I like that a lot better. And this one over here looks like it's probably could slide out a little bit further also. So we'll do the same trick. We'll undo all of this. And adjust it to make it move in further. Just want to make sure it doesn't get on the teeth. Can't see the back side of the blade. There we go. Now, let's see, there's this one here, I think. Okay, just go until it just touches and back it off a little bit. good with that <clears throat> okay now the part I screwed up was this one come out so I pried on it and I broke it so this is a piece of pop metal and that used to be attached right there it's no longer attached right there it's broken so I got to make a decision how do I fix that in this well, something else. Where'd this one come from? I remember. It was something. Oh yeah, that was over here. That makes keeps this from vibrating. It also levels this out. I'm assuming because this is split through here, so the whole thing bounces around. So that gives you that ties these two pieces together a little bit. Okay, that was there. I'm not sure how far it's supposed to go, but. I push it until it's flush. Okay, so this here goes in here like that, or like this, like that's how it's supposed to be. So right now it's going to probably just stay there on its own, but it can bounce around and come out. So at some point I need to figure out how I'm going to attach that back to that. So this is pot metal. Pot metal is very, very tricky to weld. It'd be very hard to make that piece anyway. So I can make a little piece to go in there, but see it's really thin here. There's not that much area. So I can put a hole through this, I guess, and make up a little, little flathead type looking screw type thing. And just stick it in there and use that, I guess, as alignment. We'll just push it down. It'll be two different pieces. This will be a separate piece from this piece. We'll put a little monkey snot on there. A little Loctite to hold it in, I guess, would do it. So, we'll see how long this lasts. For now, that appears to be working. This piece here, it's going to get lost. If I put it down here, I'll probably never know where it was. All right. So, theoretically, bandsaw is usable now, but we don't know how long it's going to work. So, let me go find something to whack on and we'll, we'll be back.